Today we're at Homeowner's House. Uh, we're going to show you how we protect the homeowner's floors when we come in uh, from the doorway to the work area. Uh, we're going to lay drop cloths down to protect any trash coming in off the worker's shoes, but also to protect the floor in the work area so when we're taking the window out we'll catch any debris. Uh, what we don't catch with the drop cloths we'll shop back up from the homeowner. One of the most common problems our customers call us about uh, with their windows is seal failure. Uh, Jay, do you care to elaborate a little bit more on that and what that is? Sure, Austin. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Seal failure is the number one problem in the industry for windows. Uh, there's uh, several items that can cause seal failure in an opening. Um, a poorly built window with a spacer system that doesn't allow for expansion and contraction uh, over time because everything expands and contracts with temperature change every day and it puts pressure and it loses its seal. When it loses its seal, the vacuum goes out of the window and that is the only energy efficiency the window has for most aluminum frame or even some wood frame windows with a typical glass package that you have out there. Uh, as a common, this is a common problem we see. Uh, if that happens on any of our windows, Wilson's windows, we replace the window sash at no charge to the homeowner. The trick is to use a window and to install it correctly, and then you don't have this issue. This paint down here, I can, I can feel it peeling off. Um, what is the cause of that? Why is it doing that? Well, that, once again, that's a real common issue that we see with the aluminum frame windows. Uh, and some windows in general, even though they're not aluminum frame, uh, you know, when hot and cold touch, you're going to have condensation and sweating and because the window has lost its seal failure even though you can actually get some condensation and sweating on a window that's not lost its seal failure when it's lost its seal failure and that hot and cold can touch then it's going to sweat just like the bathroom mirror in the, when you turn the shower on and so over time this runs down on the seal down here and it gets, a, gets it wet and causes the peel it could prolong it if it goes over a long period of time and cause more wood damage down below the seal and have to, all this would have to be replaced. Obviously that's an extreme condition, uh, but it, we do see it out there. But this is real common to see paint peeling on the edge of a window frame like this where it's been sweating. Hey Jay, also on the window, I'm starting to see, a, starting to get some mold on the top and the bottom. What are some causes of that? Well, just staying wet all the time, Austin. You know, over time, if glass stays wet uh, and you have some pollen, dirt, and everything in there, mold is going to start growing in that area as a buildup area. And that's what's happening. It can be a health issue to the homeowner if you get enough windows with enough of it on there in the house and they're breeding the mold spores in the air. So it definitely can be a health risk. We're going to show you guys how we replace the windows. Here's one of our window crew chiefs, Isaac. He's going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how we replace them. we have some of the spray foam in between the board, between the brick and the, and the substrate. Uh, what is the reason we put that there? Uh, for an insulating factor, for one thing, so airflow can come through there, uh, that eliminates that as a possibility. Uh, you know, and one also we're going to have is our supervisor will be out inspecting our openings for the homeowner to make sure it's done correctly. Now, they will show up 10 to 14 days after the job's finished because they allow for the house to climatize to the windows for the homeowner to use the windows for a period of time, see if they have questions or issues with the windows at all. And then the supervisor is going to come back and inspect the openings where they were the foam filled, where they were caulked correctly, which is a, a skill in caulking windows. We we'll do a nice, neat you know, caulk job on your windows, eliminating any potential airflow around the frame because it does no good to buy a high energy efficient window and put it in an opening and you still have airflow coming around the frame of the window. Isaac is setting the window now, making sure it's level and plumb, and make sure it fits the opening nice and tight. We mentioned earlier we use a non-expanding foam to put the 
put around the voids in the window opening in the brick uh, to eliminate the airflow potential to come around the frame of the window itself. Um, and then each window has little pockets and they're pre-drilling some holes for other ones here to put their screws in. Uh, you do have some companies that do what we call burn the screws through the vinyl. Uh, the reason you wouldn't want to do that is because you can crack the frame when you're doing that. Uh, and also can get it a little bit racked if you tighten it too tight doing it that way. Uh, so the correct way is to pre-drill it or use the pre-drilled holes if they're in the spots that you need them to attach the window to the jam. It's taking the balance covers off now so you can get in there so you can attach the window and pre-drill the screw holes. And then he'll put the balance covers back over there, which hides the uh, balance mechanism that allows the window to go up and down and tilt in and out. Uh, Jay, the window is already set now. Uh, would you explain the additional steps that are needed to finish the window? Absolutely. Uh, well, the next step, we've got it set now. We've got it uh, set in the window and it's square and plumb. And the next thing we'll do is we'll come in and put a nice, neat caulk bead around the frame of your window all the way around. Uh, you know, that's a skill to caulking windows. If anybody's tried to caulk before, they know that. And our guys will do a neat caulk job on you. The next step they're gonna do is they're gonna remove all stickers and save them for you for your records because this has all your pertinent information about the energy efficiency of your windows. And then they're gonna clean your windows inside and out for you. Pick up the drop cloth and shop back up everything and move any furniture back. And uh, now they've got their new window in their home and should start enjoying the, the increased energy efficiency of the window.